hi guys in this tutorial I want to tell you how you put the value of the single line diagram in my in this video of part 1 we see how we draw the single line diagram in e type system so in this part I want to tell you how you put the value of in these components so we start put the value of grid system first go to rating rated kva lion kva short circuit mva suppose 100 100 MVA put set value 3 or 4 we suppose we see harmonic so click on ok after that we put value of transformer go to rating Scantry 132 Rated MBA 100 Impedance here Port 0 0.1 something or 1 Port XR ratio 3 or 4 No low test data Click on typical value It will calculate Click OK after that put the value of transmission line click on it it will open after some seconds so please wait now you see that these are the components of transmission, generation, distribution, grid system. So, transmission line is open. We put the length of transmission line 15 mile. This is the unit of length feet, mile, meter, kilometer. So, we put the value of me. conductor type select conductor type we say aluminium conductor conductor library click on any conductor in which your project is based so ostrich I select it ok it will give these value collect automatically go to configuration we put here 15 meter height uh, 7 feet 15 feet and 7 feet spacing it will calculate automatic so grouping nothing is there or thing, nothing is there and go to impedance so click on ok click on transformer to go to rating secondary we want secondary of transformer give 0 0.4 kV 100 MV of transformer to impedance click on 1 or 0 point something click on x over r ratio 3 
it will calculate automatically so no load test data calculate similarly and transformer one typical value it will calculate automatically so click on ok after that click on static load go to rating no VMVA no, we want power factor is 80 percent so click on ok after that induction motor go to nameplate hp we suppose hp is 100 horsepower so click on ok after that we will put these all values of components after that go to corner p and q load flow analysis load flow analysis click on it it will give in this form p and q click on it so you see here it will give all these values of impedance resistance uh, of uh, bus bar bus bar 1 bus bar 2 bus bar 3 bus bar 4 so if you want to generate a report so click on here report major click on here so what you want a report in this form so i want ms of it click on here impedance load flow report click on it after that okay it will generate a report of all experiment you see here generating report so you see that it will generate a report it will open word no you see here it will generate the report g tab bus 1 bus 2 bus 3 bus 4 qv rating percentage magnetic mw mvr math mva load flow may these are the parameter of bus bar 1 bus bar 2 bus bar 3 awesome. hello listen.